Jank Odo moment. Trying to make it to the next um, location. So yeah. Oddish, 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 Oddish. I, you know, Oddish isn't. Oddish really honestly isn't that odd, so. I don't get why it was named Oddish. Maybe it had something to do with the Japanese name. Maybe something like that. It just always occurred to me, how could it be named Oddish like that? It's not really odd. And it's not ish, whatever that should mean. No, not poison powder. Oh, I don't want this evil. It's evil. Okay, if I can get into get into one more confusion, that'd be great. Okay, thank you for not using an attacking move. That really took a weight off my shoulders. Confusion attack. There we go. Level thirteen. Bell spell. I don't want to take my chances, so I'll switch to Spiro. Spiro's a good matchup for this. After Bell spell, it's just a silly old um, piranha um, or Venus flytrap, basically, plan. But it's in the early stage of it, I guess. Pack attack. You jerk! I don't like it when you sleep powder on me and it actually hits. You know? You know? Okay, we're gonna try and, yeah, do I have any awakenings? I hope I do. I'm pretty, yeah, okay, there we go. Now what I mean, I hate it when I go back to my bag by accident. That gets annoying. That's get just a, that just gets a little bit of annoying. So, yeah. Level 19. Pursuit. That's good. That's actually a good dark move. But if you know how to use it, it, basically you can read the inscription on it. An attack move that um works especially. Um, I can't read that word that says E L L because my TV screen is um, cut off. But in the recording, it should show up. Especially fell on a foe that. I don't, I, well, I'm gonna teach you anyway, that's what I'm trying to say. So let's get rid of Growl. I'll keep Spira out, he's kick, he's kicking butt. Let's use Peck, cause it'd be the most effective, and I get, and I would get the same type of attack bonus. You, you stupid grass type Pokemon, you're being mean. And even though I wanna, I have a Venus, uh, I have a weeping bell. I like the weeping bells, and um, bell spots. But only when I catch them, and only when I train them into the being the very best. I guess we'll just have to wait this one out. I don't really want to use an awakening because I might want to save them for later on. I like the Pokemon that has like the amnesia, um, feel, um, ability where they can they're immune to falling asleep in battle. So yeah. I wish I had that. And that, uh, that'd be a cool ability to have in real life where you can never fall asleep and you'd still never be tired. That'd be pretty cool. Well, eventually you might get tired, but it's a waste it, I guess. Thank you, Spiro. Bell spell. It's one better than not learn or have sleep powder, because if it does, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be uber mad. There we go. That battle took way too long. I'm just saying that now. It did, it did, it did. Team 40 Aerial Ace. I wanna actually, I don't, yeah, I know that, um, Chugga, Chugga Convoy did this where he wouldn't evolve his spear until a certain level where it automatically went Aerial Ace and only in that stage of evolution, but I'm gonna actually spend my TM40 on, um, my Spearow, 
my own Spiro, my personal Spiro, I guess. Uh, and I'm gonna teach you, um, aerial layers. Rock-a-mole could learn aerial layers, I didn't know that, that's cool, and flame could too, and even shroom, wow, that's pretty cool. The majority of my team right now can learn it. So aerial layers is a really good move, it's like, it's... It's basically a little bit more powerful than wing attack, but it's like it always goes first So it's like a extreme speed and quick attack quick attack for that matter, which seems to be forgotten I'll, use, I'll get rid of Weir. Weir we don't need It says comma two and <laughs> poof or dot dash dash poop Did I say poop? I didn't mean to say poop uh, Again, we cram the disc into its brain We want. We might want to also heal up. Um. Hypnos. Uh, heroics. Um. Not hypno. Jeez. Uh, heroics. Um. Poison. There we go. We have plenty of antidotes. We don't want to watch that old engravement again on how I put an antidote on hip heroics. Um. Head or whatever. Machop. Knowing that's level 20, I still want to risk it, kinda. I'll use Confusion on, see how much it does. Confusion. That's not that much, dang it. Oh, cool. I want to use Hypnosis now. Dang it. Hypnosis missed. Hit yourself, oh, come on. Okay, now let's. Okay, we're not. Don't plan for a critical hit now, that'd be bad. I used to. Uh, hip, uh, heroic, why do you have to be so weird? And not hit with your hypnosis. Might as well chance it and just use confusion. Just one more. We can do this. We'll hit yourself in the confusion and see how much that does. Yeah, that actually worked. Okay, cool. Oh, and Onyx, I can't really... Well, I'm, almost, I'm gonna split the experience, you know? I don't mind. That's level 20, wow. Onyx is super big in the anime, though. I mean, it's, it's like nothing can beat an Onyx in the anime, but in Pokemon games, they're easily taken down by grass and water type... Duh! In grass and water type Pokemon, due to um being four times weak to both those types. I'm gonna just... You know, go all out, all out Vine Whip. I see one hit KO. Oh, it's pretty cool. Level 14. It's, it's catching up with other um, Pokemon in my party, so that's really cool. My favorite Pokemon from Kanto. Uh, that's a hard one. Like, I love Bulbasaur a lot. Bulbasaur a lot, but... It's kind of hard to say now. I have, like, this up until, like, fifth generation, and they may, I don't know if Pokemon Black and White too, but if they have, um, also the, a new generation of Pokemon, which I don't think they do, but, um, it'd be like, wow, that's a lot of Pokemon. It's like over 500 Pokemon, maybe even 600. So, I, it's harder and harder to keep your favorite Pokemon sometimes when there's just more coming out that you might like. So my fa all time favorite still grow of course. But um I still have my um debates over what my favorite Kanto Pokemon is. I just can't say right now. I could say in the future though probably. We're gonna switch to Wacamole. And by attack. Oh shoot, that was a critical hit. Jeez, we don't need that. We gotta take my chances with magnitude. And that's what I get for taking my chances with magnitude. I get magnitude 6. I see. Oh man, it's almost done. It's almost able to faint it. Thank you for using a non attacking move. An offensive move, basically. Basically. Let's finish it with fewer stripes. One hit, yay! Charmander. I'm actually gonna, um. Switch back to heroic, cause I'm trying to get heroic up to his levels, so I'm gonna get even out the experience and stuff. Charmander. That's level 21, I don't wanna take him a chance with it. 
What's up, Wakamole? It's never an angry to fight. I'm really risking it though with Wakamole. I will admit that. Okay, let's see. I'm hoping for a higher magnitude. Magnitude 9, that's awesome. That's really powerful, <laughs> I should say. There we go. So close to opening up Pokemon. I'm sorry. Bug type Pokemon. I think he has like a B drill and that's all oil. So he might just have a B drill. Oh no. Okay, two, maybe two B drills or um, a Kakuna. I can't remember. Let's switch to um, Spear. Let's try it. We'll, we'll finally get a chance to try out Aerials and see how awesome it does. Fury attack. Here, yeah, I'm gonna do some mix ranging, like right here. Yeah, that, that actually looks pretty cool how I range that. There we go. Oh, yeah, one hit KO. Level 15, awesome. So close to level, gonna be Spear. Um, we'll switch back to Heroic. Cause Heroic needs all the experience he can get. Heroic is just beast. Oh, two B drills, I was right the first time. I'm always right the first time when I saw like, two B drills, or maybe he has a B drill and a Kakuna. Silly old me. B drills used to frighten me in the anime when I first saw them, like in Jotaro Journeys, um, when. Ma when Ash was training up a Syndicore to try to beat, um, what was it, um, someone scared me, I can't really remember what the name was, but, you know, I honestly just forget, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> I fail, but not, yeah, I, I don't fail there, but, you know, I fail remembering, I think her name was Mickey or something, she had a scar me. And like when they were picking for apples, Ash and Cynical, when they were tired from their training a little bit and took a break, they picked apples out of that tree and I saw all those bee drills and I was like, oh my gosh. That's a lot of bee drills. And I was just terrified because they're like a giant bee and from my childhood I didn't really like ch um, bees at all. Spear is evolving, yay! I think this is my first, um, first of all, fully Pokemon. I said that wrong. <laughs> okay, Fubo. Let me actually check on that right now. Uh, no, not not fully evolved. Fully evolved? No, 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 no. So yeah, Fubo is my first time fully evolved Pokemon. If you go click on that rock, you um get an ether. How oh, nice. This is just a wild patch of wild grass. Let's hop over this ledge and hop over this ledge again and go back around. But this time we want to go try to go down here. Okay, I guess we have to fight this hiker for that item. Ha ha ha, bring it on. Bring it on, hiker. You and your Geodude and Onyx is no match for my team. <laughs> what a coincidence that it does have Geodude. That's kind of a, um, obvious, you know. But yeah. So with that said, I'm gonna go to Venus. Not the planet. I hope. Oh gosh, not the planet. The Venus is like the planet. I mean, Venus is like almost the same size as um, Earth, which is pretty cool. It's like, hi Venus, you're my younger friend, or um, smaller friend, I should say. Vine Whip. We're gonna switch back to Heroic. So close to level 16, how awesome. Onyx. Hey, I'm, I'm curious, my wonderful audience. Leave a comment down below on what your favorite YouTuber and the whole YouTube is. Like, I don't have a favorite because I can't say because there's so many great YouTubers. But, um, if you have a favorite, or, um, like, name your top three favorite, like, I don't, I know, like, my friends are always one of my favorite, 
um, YouTubers, cause just, you know, they're my real life friends and they support me in my videos too, and I support them back. But, um, if we went to, like, comedy, and this is, like, any, um, category of YouTube video types, like, comedy, anima animation, gaming, stuff like that, how-to and style. But, um, if I were to list my top three, I would say Smosh, um, because, like, they're so, like, when they first started, I will admit their videos were pretty funny. Um, well, they, they, no, I'm not saying that they're never funny, but, like, I, they just had this thing with their videos back then, with all, like, the lip syncing with the theme songs, that was really cool. And their videos were funny back then, and awesome. They're funny now at me, but not as many, they don't appeal to my friends as anymore of being funny, to some of them, but that's okay. But basically, I gotta choose Smosh, Nika Higa, cause, you know, he was, he's pretty awesome, he does pretty good, he has pretty good videos, you know. Like, that part he man, that was really funny. Um, and then, I can't really say for a third, because I'd be with, I'd be leaving people out, so my top two would probably be Smosh, then Nigahiga. And sometimes it switches, so don't think I always don't, don't think I only like Smosh all the time. I always like Nigahiga being number one, uh, my top two.